Dr. Radha Krishnan has birthday is being celebrated as Teachers Day in India. But why? What did he do so great? Bharat has seen countless numbers of teachers since ancient time. So why particularly Dr. Radha Krishnan? What is he teaching so great that his birthday is being celebrated as Teachers Day? Dr. Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan was born in a Telugu Brahmin family on September 5th, 1888, in a village near Tirutani, which is located on the borders of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. It was a time when India was under British control. getting educated is not at all easy it was an elite subject back then but dr radha krishnan in spite of coming from a poor family did not compromise on education he was so dedicated throughout his academic career that he earned a lot of scholarships by which he managed to complete his education without having to worry about money he graduated in philosophy but do you know how he selected that course not because he wanted that but because his cousin was studying philosophy in the same college so that he could get his note books for free of cost that's how poor he was at the age of 16 he got married to a girl named shivakamu who happened to be a distant cousin of him the couple had five daughters and a son named sarvapalli gopal who later went on to become a notable historian the time we are talking about is 120 years back people used to get married at an early age but that didn't stop him from pursuing his dream at first he joined the college in velu but later he switched to the madras christian college at the age of 17 leaving his young wife as we know already the west never really understood indian culture and its way of life there used to be in fact there is still a misconception that bharatiya vedanta system has no ethics dr radha krishnan wanted to counter that so he wrote a thesis for his ma degree on the topic of the ethics ethics of vedanta and its metaphysical presuppositions again the time we are talking about was before independence so his professor dr alfred george hogg was an englishman so radha krishnan was scared that his thesis on the ethics of vedanta might offend his professor but surprisingly his professor applauded him for the wonderful work he had done but his thesis got published only when he was 20 years old according to dr radha krishnan himself as a student the criticism of his christian teachers about Indian culture disturbed his faith and shook the traditional props on which he leaned to challenge the critics he wanted to study hinduism and find out what's actually been said in the culture so he spent his time and energy researching indian philosophy and its religion and later spent his whole life defending hinduism from the western critics who did not really understand the culture and criticized it without knowing much now what kind of a teacher was he that's what he's being celebrated for right we know teaching is not an easy profession it needs a hell lot of patience efficiency and willingness to do the job just reading the book is not going to work the students must be able to imbibe the skills that the teacher is offering especially in this modern era where the entire world is being run by technology skill based education is a must and technology is something that's constantly evolving one needs to be hungry to evolve with it but a lot of youngsters particularly engineering graduates are lacking the skills that are needed to work in the real world that's why scalar a tech learning platform where you can learn software development data science and machine learning god instructors who are industry experts from top tech companies the students maintain 365 days of coding sticks and get to work on 80 plus real world case studies to build their problem solving skills at scalar you get one to one mentorship and their placement assistance team helps you with interview preparation and placement 93.5% of learners at scalar got placed at top tech companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, Flipkart, Myntra and many more. And you have an easy MA option for 2 years with zero interest and most importantly they also offer free live classes so that you can check yourself if this is suitable for you. Now back to Dr. Radha Krishnan. What kind of a teacher was he? There's a famous quote, a good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light the way for others. I would say Dr. Radha Krishnan lived up to this quote. He started his teaching career as a faculty member of Madras Presidency College but he kept moving from one institution to another molding students into better human beings i would like to state one incident to pictureize what kind of bonding he had with the students when he was leaving the mysore university after teaching there for 3 years the students arranged a carriage fully decorated with flowers once he got in and sat the students themselves pulled the carriage till the railway station and sent him off with teary eyes 
that's how much his students loved him his lectures on philosophy were very famous back at that time a lot of his speeches got published into various articles and books in 1926 he represented the calcutta university at the congress of universities of the british and at the international congress of philosophy at harvard university in 1929 something very important happened in his life he was invited to give a lecture at the manchester college of oxford and the speech he gave was later published as a book with the title an idealistic view of life they were so impressed with the speech he was soon invited to join as a faculty at oxford for his services to education he was knighted by the king george 5th in 1931 from then he was called as sir radha krishnan but after we got independence he stopped using the sir title and started using the doctor title the time in india was struggling under the british dr radha krishnan played an active role not only in indian politics but also in international affairs many people started seeing him as a bridge builder between india and western countries in 1949 the then prime minister jawaharlal nehru appointed him as the indian ambassador to moscow that's when he made an official red carpet entry into politics then he didn't look back at all soon he became a member of rajya sabha and then in 1952 he was elected as the first vice president of independent india and in 1954 he was awarded bharat ratna the highest civilian award of india for the nobel prize he was nominated 27 times 16 times for literature and 11 times for the nobel peace prize then in 1962 he became the second president of india when he was appointed as the president of india some of his students came to meet him and they wanted to celebrate his birthday as a special occasion but he said instead of celebrating my birthday it would be my proud privilege if september 5th is observed as teachers day from then every year september 5th is being celebrated rightfully as teachers day in india when he was serving as the president of india his salary was 10000 rupees a month out of that he donated 7500 every month to the prime minister's national relief fund he did not have a background in congress party nor was he active in the freedom struggle he made it this far only because of his pride about indian culture and his constant defense of hinduism against the uninformed western critic according to historian donald mckenzie brown dr radha krishnan had always defended indian culture against the half baked western criticism and always proudly represented the indian culture he had a constant touch with the western society to a greater extent yet he never failed to represent indian culture when half baked informations were thrown at india he invested his time and energy to get to know the truth of it and went on to teach the world about it he often used to say teachers should be the best minds of the country if his words come true no one can stop us from becoming the superpower we are aspiring to be because teachers are the ones who are shaping the minds of the next generation so a very happy teachers day to all the teachers out there and don't forget to check out scalar.com and register for your free live class link is in the description below